back. I'm Joe Perrin with the Kilotapes, and today I wanted to do a quick video and talk about this and this. This is a Sony 28mm lens, and this is a 16mm fisheye adapter that you can get to screw onto this lens. I just wanted to pop in here really quickly. I originally wanted to make this video just about the Sony 28mm with the fisheye adapter and how it compares to my Canon 8-15mm to fisheye. As I was doing the edit, I realized I had footage of the Sony 12-24mm to fisheye and I figured I'd throw it in here just so we could get all three of those lenses in there. So I just wanted to pop in there and let you know that I will be discussing multiple lenses that work on full frame for Sony. Also, on that note, these lenses do work on full frame. Now, if you're shooting on a crop sensor, they'll probably work as well. But one thing you should be cognizant of is that not all fish eyes that work on a crop sensor are going to work on a full frame sensor like the Sony a7S III, Sony FX6, and cameras like that. For example, I have this Rokinon 15mm fisheye. This was the first fisheye lens I got for my Sony FS700 years ago before upgrading to the Canon 8-15. Now this works great on a crop sensor, and it's actually really affordable. I believe you can get one of these for like 250, 300 bucks. However, if you try to use a lens like this that's made for a crop sensor camera on a full frame camera, it's gonna look something like this. See that vignetting you get around the sides there? There's nothing I can do about that. Can't zoom in to eliminate it because it's made for a crop sensor. So let's go back to our standard view. So I just wanted to touch on that really quickly that you should just be cognizant of the lens you're buying and if it'll work on a full frame camera or not. Okay, back to the video, thank you. Sony sent me these to try out for a few days. This system's actually pretty interesting. Right here you have an F2 28 millimeter lens. And here you have a fisheye adapter that you screw onto it and it turns it from a 28 millimeter lens to a 16 millimeter fisheye. Uh, I'll show you how that works really quick. Take off your lens cap and then this just screws right on there, nice and easy. And then you have a 16 millimeter fisheye. So easy to take on and off. I can do it with one hand while I'm, oh, <laughs> maybe not. Now, if you've been following along with me, you know that I love the Canon 8 to 15 millimeter fisheye for skateboarding. This is my go-to lens. I use a Metabones adapter so that I can use it with my Sony E-mount cameras. And I just love this thing. I love that you can zoom in and out, get a lot of vignette, get a little bit of vignette, or get no vignette. And for me, that just makes it super versatile because I like to use all of those different things in different situations. With the videos I've been doing with Santa Cruz skateboards, this has been my go-to fisheye lens. And honestly, nothing that I've tried other than this has really come close. What I'll say about this lens is that while it doesn't give you that same versatility of zooming in and out and getting the vignette, it's just 16 millimeters, you can't change that. I actually really like this lens. Took it out on skate session, show you some of that footage right here. And I also took it out on a bike ride with my mom and her partner Bill and we just rode around and I just used only this lens on the ride and got some pretty cool results. What I really liked about it was that I could use it as a 28 mil, get some more kind of close up shots. And then I could put the fisheye on and get the fisheye shots. So this combo comes in at roughly $750. This Canon fisheye is over $1,200. So if you're looking to save some money, this is definitely a good option. It has a sharp image. I like the way it looks as a fisheye and it's versatile in that you can use it as a 28 mil or as a fisheye. So if getting vignette and being able to zoom in and out and get some different looks is not that important to you, 
I would definitely highly consider this lens, especially because it's a lot more cost effective. Here's that same trick of my friend Bidro with the Sony lens on my FX6, and now the Canon lens on my FX6. Now here's those same two clips side by side slowed down. The Sony looks great, but what I like about the Canon is that I can get a lot closer to the skater and still have everything that I want in the frame. I'm just gonna zoom in a little, just so it's a fair fight. The Canon was also zoomed up to 13 millimeters, just past the point of having vignette. So there's a lot of room to play with if you wanna zoom out and have a little bit of vignette, like I do with most of my skate clips. Here's a few examples. Shameless plug here, but this full video is now playing on Thrasher Magazine's website and YouTube channel. Yeah! Now there's one other lens I wanted to touch on briefly, and it's the Sony 12 to 24 millimeter fisheye. Here's a couple shots with that lens that we used in a Santa Cruz skateboards vlog a couple months ago. You can get the f4 version of this lens for about $1,800, and it is an interesting lens. I did feel like when it was zoomed all the way out to 12, it looked kind of weird, and then when it wasn't zoomed out all the way to 12, it just didn't give me that same look that I get with the Canon that I really like. For my skateboarding, I will be sticking with the Canon 8-15, to but I would honestly consider getting one of these just to have in another bag for fisheye shots on the fly or with my B-cam. It's that good. I want to thank Sony for sending this thing out for me to try out. I really had fun with it and thought you'd like to hear about it. So if you have any questions or anything, throw them in the comments. As always, I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. It's been actually really fun having you guys comment and uh, just getting a little dialogue going. I'm learning from you. You're learning from me. It's, it's a cool thing. So if you have time, maybe hit that subscribe button and the notifications so that you get notified when I put out these videos. But Again, just stoked that you're here and I appreciate you being here and checking out this video. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Peace.